Hi, this is David Valade with AltaVista Technology. I was going to do a quick little video today to show just some of the basics for Sage Intact, sort of an introduction to the product and how it feels to move around and just what it looks like. So we take for granted all the great functionality that we have buried deep within Sage Intact, and there's a lot of videos that we have online to show certain bits of functionality. So you can kind of get a sense of how strong and how powerful the software is overall. But just to get some of the basics covered, I thought it would be a good idea to look at Sage Intact just at a high level, just to see what it's like to move around within the system. So this is Sage Intact, that is short for internet accounting, actually. So that should be a hint that we have to run the software in a browser. We can't run this uh, running in the closet in someone's basement. This has to be something that's run in the cloud. And as far as browsers, we have all the normal browsers that you might expect. So this can work on a Mac if you're running Safari. It could work on Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox or any of the modern browsers. They are all supported. And if I have just logged in. And once I'm logged into Sage Intact, there's a few things going on. Uh, first off, named users. So I can see my name up here in the upper right. So that way we have good audit trail tracking. We know who does what when, which is always good. Uh, I have a dashboard when I log in. Uh, dashboards are great. You don't have to have this be your starting screen, but this is a really great way to start. Uh, if I were a controller and I had this controller dashboard at a glance where I could log in and look around and get a, a snapshot of how my company is doing and maybe move things around a little bit, then I think that this is a great way to keep uh, a sense of the pulse of the company. This is one dashboard. Uh, you could have any limit or no limit, actually. You could have as many dashboards as you want. Uh, some people have multiple dashboards that they toggle between. Or you might, uh, as an administrator or a deci decision maker in your organization, set up some dashboards that are for specific purposes, like perhaps uh, purchasing or maybe for an employee dashboard so they can enter time and expense or enter in a requisition. Uh, and then you can assign those to an employee and have only certain users have security to certain certain dashboards. This dashboard, I also have a few filters over here. Uh, normally, I would not backdate my dashboard. I, I would rather my dashboard be real time. But just because this is a demo environment, I wanted to have a simple dashboard here to just have a glance at um, a lot of data. And I happen to have more data if I went back a few years. So that's what I've done. Also interesting here is uh, I have a multi-entity shared environment. That's a fancy name, but what that means is I am here at the top level looking down on all of my what I call entities or companies. I have named the companies states, which is a little peculiar, but that helps me sort of tell a story of how this can be structured. But as you can see here, so I have a Texas company, a Maine company, a California company, and each of those companies all roll up together at this top level. So that means this income statement that you can see here is consolidated instantly. It's a consolidated financial statement. And Sage Intact does that for you automatically. Let's say I only had security to my Texas entity. I'll tap on that here. And you'll see that a new dashboard opens up in another tab on my browser. And my numbers have all changed because now I'm looking at just that one entity's financials. So we have a lot of flexibility here. I'll go back to my, my top level. I could also add filters here so I can see just my north region, which is maybe groupings of companies, or I could see for any one department or groups of departments, depending on how I want to set that up. And maybe one last thing I'll show here just with navigation. I love showing this, but income statement here, right here on my, my main screen, uh, you'll notice there's a little looking glass option here. So if I click on that, I can see that those financial statements here in a bigger window, which I can then drop to Excel or email this straight away. But what I love about this in Sage Intact is I can click right natively within the product on a number. I'll make that a little bigger here. And I can see my financials. So this was my $74,000 of sales company-wide. So I'm looking at sales across all my companies. That's just how I want to see it. And then with any given transaction, I can click on something that looks interesting and see a little bit more about that particular invoice. In this case, here's an invoice that's quite old, very overdue, and no attachments on there, although there might be. And I can see the accounting around that financial, or excuse me, around that invoice. Pretty nice. And then I can interact with it here. I can look at the audit trail of how it came to be. I can email or print a copy of this or I could actually interact with this invoice right now.
And maybe one last thing I'll point out is uh, I love this functionality here. We have the ability to uh, use something that Salesforce.com users are well acquainted with. It's something called Chatter. In Intact, it's the very same technology, but we call it Collaborate. What I can do is I can actually add a note here, uh, or I can ask somebody in my office, like uh, Karen Campbell is one of our consultants. I can say, hey, Karen, um, what is this? And if I were to share this, then Karen sitting at her desk would get a little pop-up or she get an email or any number of ways where it show up on her dashboard to say, hey, that there's something that we want to ask a question about. And I love pointing this out, that I got to this invoice, and if I just work my way backwards, this is something I like to do in all my demos. I like to show how I got to that report. And then from before that, I got there for my income statement, which I got to from my dashboard. So that's just a very quick way that I can interact with the system, see information about my whole company at a glance, and just work within the system itself. This was just a brief intro. Just wanted to show what it's like to log in and move around. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us over at altavistatech.com. Thanks.